Hi, Carlton Jones here for Progressive Pulse, taking a moment to give you a little preview of some of the hottest swimwear we're finding this summer. And I think you're gonna like what we find. Coming in at number five was the newest name on the block, T. Christopher, New York. What I love about T. Christopher is they source their luxurious fabrics and France and Italy, but manufacture everything here in New York. So for that green attempt, we're gonna give T. Christopher number five. All right, and coming in at number four is no newcomer to the block, D&G. And what I love about D&G's attempt to rework an old classic, the black Speedo, is the high rise, which accentuates legs for a little length, and the low waist, which gives you maximum sun exposure. So for reworking that classic, D&G's number four. Coming in at number three is Andrew Christian, a veteran to the swimwear industry. And what I love about this classic that he reworked is its strategically engineered front pouch, which gives support to those who want or need it. Also from Andrew Christian, for those who might be a little more modest, is this great cut, which doubles as short and swimwear. Coming in at number two is fashion giant Fendi, one of my favorites actually, because what they do here is they subtly use their logo and make a camouflage, my favorite print on anything. And so we accessorize this look with a little open weave mesh top from Petroman and a pair of Jean-Paul Gaultier boots that I think our model Brian Delgado wears quite well on his Upper West Side roof. Our number one pick for our Swimwear 2010 preview is Rough Skin, and we're very fortunate to be here at their pop-up store here in downtown Manhattan, Chelsea, and I'm here with the owner of the Rough Skin pop-up, John Thompson. Carlton, thanks. Uh, yeah, we're, we're so fortunate to be uh, here in Chelsea, uh, 22nd and 8th, um, and with that we open seven days a week. Um, with our new selection of uh, swimwear as well as some other items that we'd like to show you today. The inspiration is Brazilian uh, sunga bathing suits as well as um, a little bit more up fashion. So the brand's going a little bit broader these days to bring a little bit more modern edge but still balancing out some of the 70s retro styles of uh, western uh, short California. Yeah. Sam is going to show off our uh, Tigre bathing suit. Another popular one that sort of grabs your attention, especially from the rear. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to show that. No. <laughs> it's cool. It's like a fresh animal print. I love it. It is, yeah. absolutely. And it's a, a photo screening process that we have. So it's photographs uh, that Hubert Pouches, the designer, has from his personal collection. Ah. We've gotten a lot of um, requests for more athletic wear. Mm. So we've expanded into things that, again, are a little bit more traditional with an edge. Okay. So actually, Chase is wearing one of our most popular ones. It's called the Runner. Ah. And as you see, again, it's uh, metallic silver, but in a traditional runner style that you'd see from the 70s mm. um, with the rough skin label down the side and the side um, saddle, if you will, of the, of the, the string. What's really neat about these though, we've had a lot of people that buy them for clubbing as well as for exercise. Ah, ah. So they've been very popular. I've heard they're very comfortable. Um, but again, I think Chase wears it well. Okay, well, what could not be comfortable about a second skin? Thanks, Chase. <laughs> One of our most popular bathing suits is uh, square cut style from Brazil called the Gram. I saw that. So Sam actually is wearing it um, with the European sort of Brent red, um, but it's also been very popular. Again, that sort of military olive green motif that you see through a lot of our clothes. And I can't let Sam slip out of here without taking note of some of the Ruskin accessories, like these little lace-up boot situation. Okay, get into it. I'm loving this. And the little side harness, that's all Ruskin, right? Absolutely. You know, we have a number of different harnesses, um, and they keep coming out. So we, we get uh, <laughs> new sets about every two weeks in the store. They are flying off the rack, so it's been a very popular accessory. I love the story on this last piece, uh, this print got me from the beginning, but it's, it's pretty special. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. So we have Chase, who's wearing the Raphael print. Um, and it's actually one of our, our most popular sellers of the spring. Um, the designer, Hubert Pouches, actually had taken this photograph of the Sistine Chapel ceiling about 15 years ago. 
And uh, again, in a fabrication house we have in San Diego, they're able to photo screen uh, these items. So, and I've got to show you the coolest thing about these okay. is uh, not only the great print that you have in the front and the back, but we call it our recession uh, recession bonus. Okay, two suits in one. Two suits in one, so it's reversible. So it's this great sort of dark blue with black, more conservative piece. So, you know, two for the price of one or two in the same day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with two in the same day. And one is uh, quite sufficient here, but I love the idea. It makes so much sense. And you can have your wild, fun print side and then something practical and clean. Absolutely. Chase, thank you so much. So it's been great here hanging out and chatting with you about all that Ruskin is doing. You guys are really making some moves here. Well, Carlton, thanks. I mean, uh, we've been open for exactly one month today here in New York, and uh, we've got great responses. The community has embraced us. Um, our neighbors have embraced us. And, you know, just the remarks we've gotten have been great. It's sort of like uh, Chelsea 10 years ago. So we're glad to be here and glad to be a part of the scene. It's hard to believe that Ruskin was like barely carried anywhere below Midtown and to have your own pop-up store here this summer, I encourage everybody to come and check it out.